Thomas Nagel, an uh, important contemporary foster and atheist, wrote an article 30 or 40 years ago called The Absurd, in which he essentially attacks the atheistic existentialist's response. So Kierkegaard said our lives can ultimately have meaning because God had intended some purpose for them. At least that's how many people read Kierkegaard. Atheistic existentialist says life is meaningless now that God doesn't exist. And Nagel says, I don't think that's the case. So look at the three major reasons that people say life is meaningless. Firstly, we're incredibly tiny compared to the rest of the universe. And Nagel says, what does that matter? Let's just consider for a moment an earthworm. Here I am outside, take a worm. Make this worm enormous, so big that it eats like 50 to 100 galaxies for lunch. Is all of a sudden that worm's life meaningful just because it's big and it can affect galaxies? No, it's just a worm. So size does not matter in terms of our lives meaning anything at all. Secondly, people bring up the idea that we're all going to die and our lives are going to be extinguished and therefore they're meaningless. Well, ask yourself, would every eternal life matter? Let's say for eternity, you were going to count blades of grass for eternity. Would that be a meaningful existence? No, it wouldn't. So it looks like living forever isn't what ultimately makes life meaningful. Third, God. Could you live a meaningless life even if God existed? Absolutely. You could count this grass your entire life and what happens when you die and you come before God Assuming that you had a mind that was functioning well, would God say, you have lived your life meaningfully? You've done a great job. No, you've wasted it. So God and his existence doesn't guarantee that our lives will be meaningful. What would be a meaningful existence, a meaningful life, if God did live, if he was alive, excuse me? Well, it would seem that it would be an existence in which we care for other people. And what Nagel says, seems to be saying, is that if that's ultimately what creates a meaningful life, and it's not how big you are, size of the universe versus a teeny, 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 tiny little animal, if it's not living forever versus dying in 60, 70 years, and if it's not God's existence, then it looks like the atheist doesn't need to worry about meaning if God doesn't exist. Now, there might be other goods that God's existence would bring to us, but Nagel thinks that we don't need to be worried about the fact that God doesn't exist in terms of our lives being empty and meaningless. Meaning is investing in others, creating a life in which you've created things that are valuable to yourself, to other people, in which you've done things in which you've cared for others and other people have cared for you.